what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The struggles for minimum wage workers continue to get worse as a new report reveals a very disturbing reality. The National Low Income Housing Coalition recently released its annual out of reach report and the findings for minimum wage workers are eye opening. The report confirmed that full time minimum wage employees in the US are not financially able to afford a two bedroom apartment in any state in the country. The same report also found that in 93% of counties in the U.S., full-time minimum wage employees couldn't afford a one-bedroom apartment either. Those figures further translate to the average full-time minimum wage worker needing to work almost 97 hours a week to be able to afford proper housing, which is more working hours than any full-time job. If you're wondering how they came up with those numbers, the report defines affordability as the hourly wage a full-time worker must earn to spend no more than 30% of their income on rent, which means in 2021, a full-time worker must earn $24.90 just to afford a two bedroom apartment. Now, it gets even stickier if you want a one bedroom apartment. <laughs> you gotta earn at least $20.40. Make it make sense, fam. It don't. This is the half of the reason why Americans are going crazy. I don't understand why or how this is just the richest country in the world. Like at least one of the richest countries in the world. And you have the homeless out of control in Las Vegas, Los Angeles, New York, Houston, Chicago, everywhere, all the major cities. Just homelessness all over the place. How does that happen? I do believe that there are people in this country who really get off to having everything and seeing other people just really, really struggle. There are people who the minimum wage don't even affect, who lose their minds when you start talking about raising the minimum wage. Oh man, you know, that's going to mess up the economy and, and businesses are going to have to close down because they're not going to be able to pay their employees. And, you know, and I guess some, uh, you know, some of this stuff is valid, but the government could subsidize, right? They could do things like that to help out, but they ain't going to do it because the, the government really is not for the people. The government is for the elite. It's not going to subsidize anything for anybody. This little stimulus stuff, man, you better believe they're going to come back and get all that money. All this money, thinking it's free? No, fam. They're coming back to get all that money. They're either going to get it in the cars you buy, the homes you buy, the food, goods, services you buy, they're going to get that money back. Believe that. It's a cold game, man. Damn. $18.78 and you still can't afford a one-bedroom apartment. Make it make sense. No more talk. What the talking about?